create artificial brains for our robots that are based on how we think animals like rodents perform navigation. So we model some of the navigational neurons that scientists have found in the brain, uh, create software models of these systems uh, which involve neural networks and deploy them on robots. So what you're seeing here are two processes. One's a high level process and one's a low level process. The low level process uh, is a low, low level visual homing process and that's what's actively controlling the robot. It's comparing the images from its camera with a previously taught route through the environment and attempting to repeat that route you know, in a teach and repeat process. At a higher level we have the RATSLAM system running and it's running its grid cell based neuronal mapping system uh, and it's keeping track of where the robot is in a global sense at multiple spatial scales. Both of these processes are critical. The low level process is critical for sort of local navigation decisions while the high level process gives the robot a sense of where it is in the world uh, and enables it to actually plan routes from points A to point B. One of the things we've had to do is modify the robot extensively, so we've added a, a number of sensors to it. We have a camera, this is a panoramic lens that it uses and it gives us a 360 degree field of view. This here is a Microsoft Kinect. Um, it has two cameras, it has an RGB camera and it's also got a depth camera. So we have the laser here, it gives us 2D depth information uh, within a plane in the environment. We've also got uh, an array of sonar sensors and we've also got some tactile bump sensors which stops the robot uh, running in when it runs into, if it runs into things. We were interested to start off by modelling rodents because we know a lot about how we think the rodent brain performs navigation. In the mid-2000s they discovered a new type of cell called a grid cell uh, and grid cells actually provided the missing piece to our robotic navigation puzzle. What we did during most of this project is we were trying to model specific regions of the brain which had specific purposes and model the actual, uh, to varying extents of detail, the actual dynamics, the actual connectivity of those areas of the brain. Until you actually embody some of these theories of navigation on an actual robot doing um, similar tasks to what the animal might do, you may not actually unlock all the insights that you could because you won't be able to predict what will happen and that's one of the, the challenges but also the joys of doing this interdisciplinary research.